Good morning, good morning, good morning. It's your buddy Mikey here. SD Fish and Sips. We're looking at my first keeper lobster here of the 2021 season. I was offshore yesterday fishing on the Grande with some friends. Came back, got the hoop nets, launched out in the water, and on my last pull, managed a short and a keeper. So, gonna have this with eggs for breakfast, but right now we're gonna get out and do a little rock fishing. I got the sunrise coming out here in Mission Bay. Stoked to have the lobster. I'm gonna grab my squid here. I'm gonna grab my Tranks 300, take off the stick bait from yesterday, and tie on a flat fall jig or two bait, and you're gonna drop it down, try to get some bottom fish, some rock fish. So here we go. We're moving into October now, 2021, here in San Diego. Beautiful time of the year, weather's super nice, and the fishing's still going strong. Let's get it now, variety pack. Showtime, Sunday morning special, my favorite. Wow, beautiful October sunrise, here we go. About seven o'clock in the morning, after just getting done hooping, go hard. Offshore, back-to-back -back days. Fish finder's working nice. Get the rest of my bait dumped out. <laughs> that thing is crazy. That's so cool. I just ran into them on the water and they're telling me all about their rock fishing setup. They're going to fish the nine for some rock fish. We're going rock fish right out front here. See what we can make happen. That's so cool. Loving it. Life is good. Here we go. Sunrise Riders. There it is, mixing it up to the master base to bait the Rastamon with the squid strip and getting that tree rock fish. Just a beaut. Let's keep working it. We'll go back. sun pops out wow look at that boat that's next level right there hang on how fast does this thing go 
48. <laughs> see I'm gonna go try to make some bait at the bait barge and then make my way on the inside and go fish let's go I'm gonna put the handle extension I got my tiller extension now going and then I got my kill switch that I put on my life vest right here and then watch you mash my feet my feet go right here Put the seat kind of sideways as I stand up. Get going. Good morning, good morning, good morning. It's your buddy Mikey here, SD Fish and Sips. And it's October morning. I'm out here on San Diego Bay near the bait barge. I just got my bait tank fired up. We're gonna fish, I'm gonna fish the spinner and fish the Ned rig. And then all my tranks, I'm gonna take off the large two bait and put on this little small one that Brandon, thank you buddy, he hooked me up with a new batch. So I'm gonna put this small two bait on this orange one here, Halloween special, and see what kind of stuff we can get into here in the bay. Starting here at the bait barge, Let's work it. Fall fishing, the master baits, the tube baits here. San Diego Bay, come on now. Let's see what's going on at the bait barge. Check it out, another little adjustment I made. I started using these quick clips right here. Bam, easy money, put a little scent. I thought I'd seen the bait, some bait right here. What's this? Small. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna put my rod ho holder, Hobie rod holder. You can check that out in the description. I put the link to all my gear that I use in this description. It helps me out if you buy it, use the links to buy stuff. But I'm gonna go ahead and put some of this Procure scent. I'm seeing some marks. I'm not feeling it. We're gonna move past the bait barge. Okay, so another thing, as I'm fishing here, I notice on my new Garmin, I got this sweet new fish finder from West Marine. Rolly hooked it up. Check out some of these features. It has so many contour lines that it shows these little high spots at 36 here on the fish finder. So I'm gonna go fish these high spots here See if there's some halibut hanging on the bottom. I'm gonna throw my tube bait. So I'm, it's not the, it's not heavy enough. My Ned, my Ned rig. These guys are bendo on a big halley. It looked like that guy's full bendo right there. Maybe he's caught on the kelp. We're kind of fishing the bay right here by the structure. I'm gonna fish this structure right here. Fresh scent. Little marks. Fifteen feet deep. All right, next spot here by this little red buoy. I'm going to go ahead and put the Ned rig out. See what we can get on the Ned rig. Not marking anything, but there's kind of some structure around this area here. I'm gonna go on the high side. Just like the maps is showing. We're up at 30 feet now. Fish this. Put some scent, procure on this. And then I'm almost gonna drop it. My tranks right here, 300 bait caster. 
20 feet deep. Let it hit go all the way to the bottom. Push it along the bottom like so. Cruising now, coming over to Thailand to the Coronado Bridge. We made it. I'm going to go post up, pull onto the sand right here, and fly the drone. cruising around the bay today. Just got done flying the drone here by the bridge and we're gonna make our way across. Go over by the convention center, the band shell, uh, Petco Park, fly the drone over there. It's a beautiful day, just cruising on the solo skip today. Loving it, San Diego style. Okay, let's check out this Find My Drone app. It's saying my drone's just up here by Sweet Things. It might be up on the roof and I can start fleet beeping and flashing. Got it. Shredded. Look at it, even the memory card. Wow. <laughs> All right, go ahead, recuperate my losses right here. Who knows, this thing might still fly. Looks like I could kind of squeeze it back together and put a couple new propellers on it. Crack the battery though, even. But I got insurance. Camera's okay. Gimbal might be okay. We'll see. Memory card, 128 gigabyte. Check it out, this is how we do the solo skiff. Jetty Rocks launch. like so. New port side pier. Always sights to see. Just cruising. Good morning, good morning, good morning. It's your buddy Mikey here. SD Fish and Sips, and we're back in La Jolla with the solo skiff, ready to go, ready to do this on this beautiful October morning, October 14th, Thursday, 2021. And we're coming into the fall time. It's a little bit cooler, a little bit crisper. We had some winds and some swell come in and mix it up a little bit, but I'm trying to get it back on it today, out here, get some mackerel for some lobster bait so I can go lobster season just opened up and I wanna go lobstering later on tonight. I'm gonna to probably double down today. But I'm gonna go ahead. I got the truck pulled up here. I got the solo skiff ready to go on the trailer. I got my rods and reels here. And we'll go ahead and get set up. I'll give a little time lapse going to get set up. There's the sabiki to make bait with. Let's go ahead and get this going. Get out there, 
start fishing, doing it, loving life, living the dream. Oh, but first things first, before we get to the rest of the video for today, don't forget to hit that pound that like button. That really helps me out. Hit the like button. I got some new hats coming out. I'll, uh, so let me know if you want one of these new hats. Got the leather patches going down on the uh, multi-cam, the black. So that's the new fresh gear right there. And let's get to fishing. Here we go. Double angle, let's get it. Launch time, show time. Do you get a little deeper water right now? Watch my Nomad lore. Poked with that. Put down the motor. Hit this. Prime it up with some gas. About 10 squeezes till it gets full. See this? Set. It's not really what I want. It's all good. Now I gotta fire at the motor. Choke three quarters. Come on now, big wave coming. Put the choke out more. Let it warm up. See, I'm out further enough past these waves here, I think. Woo! Look at this one. All right. Motor sounds like it's warmed up. Ways to pass through. Go ahead and hop up. Hit the throttle. Make our way out. Woo -hoo -hoo. Since I see those birds right there, I'm gonna go check out the bait situation by the pier. I'll use my Sabiki right there on the Seagate. Kind of track down and hunt these birds, but this is really nice with yellowtail weather. This is what I like, is the sun out, nobody else out. You know what, there's some birds starting to work over in La Jolla too at the kelp line. Sounds like I had kelp in it, yep. Let's get it. Woo! Fishing Sam Spikey here doing it in October. 2021, incredible year, let's go. Keep it going strong, fish hard, troll hard. Woo All right, I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna get my fish finder here. Boom, turns on. I'll use my gaff right here to flip down the transducer. What are we looking at, water temp, dang. Woo, 59.60, cold, a couple worms. We're gonna go ahead and go by the pier, see if we can make bait. Right here. Here we go, watch this. Doing about 12 and a half. <laughs> Trying to figure out here what Mr. Turnbirds are doing. All these birds, oh, there's a nice mark down below. That's good. Dang, look at those marks. I'm gonna yo-yo straight through it. I got my fly line out too, that's good. That looks like yellowtail on bait. Gotta get that yo-yo bite. Yeah, calico, ha <laughs> ha, on the yo-yo. Hit it right on the drop. Probably calico. Yep. Yeah, big old chunky calico. Nice, calico on the yo-yo iron. You measure them up. Drop back down. Oh, there we go. Getting bit on the calico too on the fly line. Oh, 
moment of truth right here. Let's see how long Mr. Calico is. This is Hat Calico. Yep. 15. It's a keeper. We're gonna eat him up. Nice. I was packing up, getting done for the day right here. Recapping what I did, I got my mackerel for lobster bait and then I came across and I got this calico on the yo-yo iron, the Taddy 4.0. I'm gonna go ahead and bleed him out and get him ready to uh, processed up. And then I'm also gonna do that with a couple Spanish mackerels. Since I'm at the market, I'm gonna be working the market Saturday. I wanna try a little catch clean cook with the Spanish mackerel. I'm gonna try frying them up. I'm gonna try to eat them raw. We'll see how I do. I'm gonna do the same thing, gut gill and then uh, clean them out right here on the water and get them on ice. Got my mackerel prepped here on the water. I got my Pacific mackerel that's uh, all gutted and cleaned. And then I have my Spanish mackerel, same thing, all gutted and cleaned. And then I got my calico bass gutted and cleaned. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, get these back in the cooler here, get landed, and then we're gonna do a catch clean cook with the mackerel. Haven't done it yet, let's go. Oh, that's where you saw in Costa Rica? Like, kind of blue. That's like a blue locker. Good morning, good morning, good morning. It's your buddy Mikey here, SD Fish and Sips. And it's a beautiful October morning. Before we get to today's video on the commercial boat, make sure you hit that like button, pound that like button, show the love. YouTube loves that. I like that. So, name of the game today would be mackerel, yellowtail, and maybe tuna. We shall see. It's a nice fall morning here in San Diego. We're leaving Mission Bay on the Grady White. Let's see what we get into. Yellowtail, tuna, whatever it's gonna be. Dang, that was booey, huh? Right there. Yeah, all sorts of buoys, lobster buoys. That time of the year. I, I just saw a little bit of the bait, but right at the birds you're talking about. Yeah, they, I, I see a lobster buoy, or is that a sea lion head? Yeah, well, it just went under. Something rippling. There's a mark. Yeah, and there's something rippling right here. I don't know what it is. Oh yeah, it's a seal. I just saw his head. There we go. It's really coming through real like deep like that. This feels like Spanish. Yeah. The big one? Uh, medium, size. Medium, yeah, medium. Are there any birds just sitting? That's what it looks like, right? Yeah. It's gonna come to but then uh, you see the bait up here? They should be eating that. Yeah, and they're not they're not moving up towards it. Oh yeah. Oh wow. Those are good. Oh, high like that? Really? This is better over here, that's all I know. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Colder water. You would think they would bite better in the warmer. In the warmer, yep. Yeah. Pacific. 
Oh yeah. On the drop. On the drop? Just stopping it? Oh yeah. Yeah, it just scared off all the bait. Yeah. It's gone. Big old. It's so big. Oh, don't. Don't let him see it. <laughs> Never had big like that. White fish on the sabiki. You can sushi this, oh, huh? Yeah. That's a. I like those. White fish sushi. <laughs> that is a lot of birds. Yeah, out of nowhere, right? A little rippling right yeah. here. Oh, that's from the bird leaving the water. Yeah. Is it? I don't know. I couldn't tell. What's going on right here? Some, some birds are going crazy. Old story making mackerel, and then we see the birds. Exactly what I'm gonna do. Let's see what's good with the pack right here. Offshore now. After making mackerels on the inside this morning, now we're tuna hunting this afternoon. Let's see what we can get into. Seen some foamers. Now we're gonna check this patty. A couple birds sitting on it. Oh, there is some fish on the meter? A little bit. I didn't see any on, oh yeah. Should we troll some baits? Yeah, we're fly line right next to it. Oh, yeah. Okay. Maybe see if there's yeah, that's what I was trying to look and see. There's bait. I see bait on it, but I don't see any fish. What is the bait? It's tight too. There we go. That one? Yeah. It's taking it. I think. Make sure it's for sure bit. Yeah, I know. That's why I'm... No. It, it just took off for a second. On the, on the wind in, I like, usually get in those bikes. So it's looking yellow, dude. I don't know why. Wind it slow in? Yeah. But, yeah, like, for, yeah, for some mackerel back in the road. It that. Dang, those are <laughs> nice marks right there. Some patties right there. Here we go, patty number two right here. Let's see what's working with it. Bait and fish on the last patty, but we couldn't get them to bite. Is there bait and fish on this patty? Let's see if there's any big. Or just a little bit of bait yeah. on the patty. Yeah, there's bait, right? Yeah. It's all loaded with bait. Oh, we got foamers. Yeah. I just saw the foamers. Yeah. Oh, yeah, they're jumping. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. Let's go.
Here it is. Got the mackerels. Good afternoon. Mikey here, SD Fish and Sips. I'm gonna show you a mackerel catch clean cook with some Spanish mackerel from La Jolla. And I'm gonna do poke bowl with this. So first thing first, I'm gonna flay it up and only take the white meat off of it. That's all I like to eat. And these have been in the fridge after being on ice. They're already gutted and gilled, cleaned out. I'm just gonna take the skin off and any of the dark meat and then take it from there. There we go. All right. Get a little tostada, you dip into it. Mackerel poke bowl. You. There it is, the final product. Spanish mackerel pokey, the bomb. The avocado, chili, onion, crunchy, Trader Joe's, chili garlic sauce, coconut aminos, and the tostada. And beautiful Shelter Island, San Diego Bay, San Diego, California here. Bag of bugs, dinghy doctor. Let's see if we can make it happen. Fish works, yeah. Here we go, got the solo skip all rigged out, loaded, ready to go. Got the spinners on there, got the Trank 300, plastics. Let's get it. Helicopters going in the background, this is San Diego Bay. Nobody else out. <laughs> Love it, life. Yeah, let's go, let's get it. And we are cruising back on the bay, back on the solo skip. Loving life right now. <laughs> San Diego skyline coming up right here. All right, nothing really on my first couple casts. Well, I'm gonna go to the edge of these boats and then start my work my way over. I got about 25 minutes before I'm supposed to be over at the boat. Got some buoys washed up over here from boats on the shoreline, check it out. And Dave was telling me that the boat that Jim was on, it washed up on Zuniga last night. So let's go fish by Bali High up here. So that's cool now. I was just talking to that guy about his sailboat saying, hey, you got any teak decks? Cause now I'm learning, Dave teaching me how to work on the teak decks on his sailboat. Stoked on that. Another skill to have. A Bali high and the entrance kind of over. This is where all the sport boats go in at the landings. It's been rough weather. I don't know if they've been going out with the deal as. Uh, ben, I heard all the fish are down at Colonet, all the yellowfin, which is about 115 miles. Never really a tanner bank bite this year. But I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna fish. And then all the way over towards over there is where we're gonna be going later. <laughs> That's where the sailboat is at. All right, let's see what we can make happen. Looking a little dead light here in Bali High. Next stop, we'll just make our way closer to Polar Bear and across the bay here. We're gonna fish this corner up here and then there's some boats going in. The, the bridge back there too. I'm not gonna make my way, I could make my way over here, but I'm gonna stick to my going over here. So check it out, they're doing some seal training or some dolphin training. Oh yeah, there's one right there. Dang, that's cool. It's that dolphin life right there in the water. Let's see what's happening on the corner block. With that orange Halloween special. Okay, time for that next spot. We're gonna go inside the basin, inside the little cove over here. Harbor Island, around some of these boats. But there it is, look at beautiful San Diego. Yesterday was a different story. It was storming yesterday. Totally different picture. Northern California, I hope everyone's okay up there in Salmon Land. They got an atmospheric river, they call it, coming through, just flooding spots. Dumping a lot of snow though in Tahoe. Snowboarding should be good. Right now the focus is on fishing. Baja, San Diego. Let's go. Try to pick off one spotty before work here. Before we go to the polar bear, let's pick off one spotted bay bass. Where is it gonna be? Up by the sign? Getting deeper? Coming in a little harbor. 
Got the bait fuel dock over here. Coming after Freedom Boat Club. Gas up over there. Fish these lines of boats over here and then we'll head back over that way to the polar bear. The shot here. So no love on any spotties or hallies before heading to polar bear. Maybe I'll have some luck, I'll fish on the way back. But right now, let's head, go ahead over to the boat over here. Stand up riders, this is how we're doing it. That's <laughs> how I'm rolling. Loving life, living the dream. <laughs> so check out this boat right here. The Naughty Nana, Mesa, Arizona. I actually met Paul on the docks last week when I was helping out Dave with, with Polar Bear, I met Paul and he's got this 65 foot Hatteras right here. Six scoops of bait, took me through a little walkthrough. I'll show you some clips of that. So 65 foot Hatteras, 1999. There you got the Penn Fathoms, right? You like those Fathoms a lot? Yeah. Penn International for your bay set up or what? I like that. So, and then you, you can fit, how many scoops of bait can you fit? Six scoops of bait? If you use it fast, it'll hold two scoops for a week, two weeks. Oh, wow. Yeah. So six scoops, it will I hold guess. easy overnight or a couple days. And then these are the uh, fish holds right here. Yeah. And then, and then you like to, uh, Fight them in the, if you're doing the tuna, uh, you fight, you leave it in the rail and fight it in that's the rail. we did that big one. Yeah. yeah. 300, that's your best tuna on this thing is yeah. 300 pounds. Yeah. My running mate that I used to go with all the time, he just died. I... And then what's, it's got, it's got two diesel motors in it. Yeah, two, what? two uh, V12 cats. V12 cats. 1300 horsepower each. And then where do you, how many different driving stations are Just there? The two. Oh, three. The one you can drive it from the top of the tuna tower too. Oh, man. Yep. The big boy, that's the 300. Yeah. Oh, so you had to pull through the door. Where's the door at? Right, right here. Yeah. The tuna door. <laughs> yeah, we just well came and he just floated in. Where was that? That was at um, Tanner. Tanner Bank? Kite Rod. But uh, Kite Rod, but with the uh, dead flyer? Yeah. Yeah. That's nice. Yeah, you got the full island kitchen. Oh! <laughs> she Jumpers. was big. You have 500 pounds at, at least. least? At least, yeah. And th this goes all down to the engine. Uh, do you do uh, any of the maintenance yourself? Yeah, as much as I can. Oh, nice. How'd you, just over the years you've learned? Yeah. Yeah, this is full on. Wow. So you laid, you laid, did you lay a lot of this out and, uh, oh, no, I bought it this way. yeah. Whoever laid it out, they did a really good job on it. I, I can tell. Dang, that's nice. A little searing, even a little searing station on the side of it. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> wow, this is where it's at right here. Uh, this is the pilot house pretty much? Yeah. yeah. So you got, there's a uh, radar, sonar that you were two, two, two GPSs and, and chart plotters there, the new Furunos. And then that big screen there is uh, time, is a 
chart plotter, big uh, time zero. And then that's one down looking sonar or fish finder. One of these is a fish finder too. And then that's radar. And that's the side scan. And the monitor's out, but when it's not, when I got the three way monitor, it does uh, sonar, radar, and chart plotter. On that one screen right on that there. One screen. Yeah, that's kind of your master screen that you use yeah, the most. Okay, here we go. Here's the front end of the Hatteras, 65 foot Hatteras. We'll get the kayaks put on here, solo skiff put on here, and get the mothership going. That's what it is right here. We got the mothership, Hatteras, solo skiff, kayaks, gonna make it happen. Captain Paul, nice, I found my mothership. I've been looking for a mothership to get that. So when we're walking along the docks with all these crazy big boats on the next phase, on the next journey. Got hooked up with Dave on Polar Bear sailboat. Been working on that. And then now I'm meeting other people along the docks here, just expanding the network. Just met Paul with the 65 foot Hatteras. Turns out we're gonna be doing some mothership trips on that. So I'll let everybody know when we get some kayaks and the solo skiff on the front end, be going out to San Clemente Island. <laughs> That nice big boat, Hatteras, 65 foot, really, really nice. And then you see that crane arm on the front right there. That will be for the solo skiff, mothership. This is the solo skiff, Mikey, SD Fish and Sips mothership boat right here. Making it happen with the Hatteras. And then that's for local stuff, tuna fishing, all that good stuff. And then down over here, we got the world adventure that's going to take the solo skiff worldwide is going to be down over here. We got Jim just rolled in on his little dinghy because his boat that he was staying on washed into the rocks in Zuniga yesterday. So I'm going to anchor up over here and take a look at what's going on. All right, all anchored up, ready to go. Let's get to that teak deck. <laughs> here he is, the man, the myth, the legend, right here. Mr. Dave with the Polar Bear Express. I'm doing excellent. Another beautiful day here in San Diego. Just classic fall day. Well, welcome to the yacht club, sophisticated, <laughs> living next to each other. You've been here for the last five years, you said? A little longer, actually. Yeah. Ever since I came back from, you know, sailing for a quarter of a century and I needed a place to come back and put the boat uh, where I didn't have to fight hurricanes and I had decent weather and, and nice people and good business opportunity for the little company I started, and this was it. And I feel really lucky to have this place, you know, with the swimming pools and the restaurants and the wonderful people and the basketball. Live in a small space, have a big yard, and you should see my pool, man. Ooh, yes. <laughs> the ocean is the ultimate yeah. playground. That's it right there. <laughs> yep, exactly. Yeah. This is polar bear. So man. this, yeah, this, this is the, this is polar bear right here. What yeah. type of boat? The Tiana 52, and right now she's just got a lot of stuff on deck because we're working on it. But uh, yeah. And you've gone all the uh, all over the world. Well, this boat went around the world before me. And then I never circumnavigated, but I've been around in the world quite a bit and a lot of different places for, you know, a quarter of a century. But, you know, there's a lot of people that go and they go all the way around the world. And there's people like me that just like to wake up barefoot and half naked in beautiful places and have a hard time moving from that location. <laughs> <laughs> I like the sound of that. Yeah. She's a great boat. She's the first one that was made with a lead keel. Her stick is... Uh, 10 feet higher as a result, so she's a great light air rig. And uh, you know, for a boat lead, lead keel, and then how high is the mast? 72 feet. She's uh, got 18,500 pounds of lead in the keel. And look at her, man. She's been around the world once, and another 50,000 miles on top of that. And you know, she's 30 years old now. I think she's gonna outlive me. <laughs> Damn son of a gun. <laughs> Sweet. That's 
Good morning, good morning, good morning. It's your buddy Mikey here, SD Fish and Sips, and it's a beautiful morning here, San Diego Bay. Monday, October 25th, 2021, and I'm here standing on, boom, the polar bear stoked I got my new gig here working on the boat with mr. Dave We're gonna be tuning this thing up and doing some sailing sailing to a bunch of different spots probably starting off with Mexico and then maybe get down to the South Pacific over to Indonesia take the solo skiff along fish have a good time experience and love and life so we're getting some work done on the boat right now uh, I've been working on the teak deck here wax the whole outside of it there's a diesel engine in the back of it that powers it in addition to the sails got the engine right here for the little dinghy that he's got on it and dave's traveled all over the world spent quarter century 23 years 25 years sailing all over the place been around cape horn through the panama canal down to antarctica so i'm stoked got the drone ready to fly been doing these plugs in the teak deck right here too getting all the screws out plugging it going away we did a bunch of work let's check out the work up here on the railing and the pulpit this was last week did all this work inside here for the anchor line i had to shimmy down inside of there crawl back in to get the hardware on for these pieces but he's got his anchor another sail in there pretty sweet boat all right let's get to work gonna be stripping screws here get the screws out drill that and then drill it out plug it working along boat work sailboat work Fun stuff. I'm so stoked on this thing and this is this is the dream right now you know and I got it fully dialed that's why I'm so stoked that Baja is happening right now too because this is like the ultimate Baja mobile and to have it all going is just super super cool so you're gonna drive down to Mad Bay now no on Monday I leave I'm gonna go I'm gonna drive to Loretto first and then from Loretto go over to Mag Bay down huh? I'm not taking no I'm riding in uh buddy's truck. Oh, so he's gonna go down. Yeah, he's going down and I'm gonna throw him with the solo skiff and my engine and all my fishing gear. How are you gonna get back with it all? The same thing. He's gonna drive back, yeah. Gonna drive back? Yeah, we're gonna drive down there and then drive back together and hang the whole time. He's gonna show me his his crew down there. Man, you're gonna have so much fun living the dream you've been down there yet i've been down in gonzaga bay yeah and uh look how stable that thing is i love it oh i know uh. <laughs> what do you got to say for the camera dave float long float hard float away never come home <laughs> till tomorrow see you later that's right. Awesome. <laughs> yeah, buddy. That's it. That's all for today on the polar bear.